For the second part of this study, Dr. Blum enlisted the help of his close friend and colleague, alternative medicine pioneer John Giordano, founder and president of G&G Holistic Addiction Treatment Center in North Miami Beach, Florida. Together, they conducted a triple-blinded, two-by-two crossover placebo-controlled study over several weeks on 14 volunteers. These subjects were diagnosed as having severe psychostimulant dependence and have been in recovery for two years or more. The patients did not have any psychoactive drug and or amino acid therapy for six months or more prior to testing. Each patient consumed the patented neuroaptogen amino acid therapy complex KB220Z or a placebo in the morning before breakfast and one hour prior to scanning. After seven days, the experimental and placebo groups were switched and QEEG tests were repeated on each patient. For the second experiment, four poly drug abusers were selected, all of whom were undergoing protracted abstinence and carrying the DRD2A1 allele. The same 2x2 design used for the first experiment was used in the second. The QEEG results shows the graphical representations of group mean differences before and after intervention, whereby group 1 was administered neuroadaptogen amino acid therapy and group 2 was administered placebo. A comparison of the FFT absolute power measured in microvolts of alpha between 8 and 12 hertz demonstrated higher activity in the neuroadaptogen amino acid therapy group compared with the placebo group. Similarly, observing the FFT absolute power of low beta between 12 and 15 Hz shows that the activity is considerably larger in the neuroadaptogen amino acid therapy group compared with the placebo group. While analyzing the absolute power differences between groups, it was discovered that there was an increase in alpha activity, a difference of 25 microvolts between groups in the parietal regions. This increase was further isolated to be most prominent in the alpha 2 10 to 12 hertz and beta 1 12 to 15 hertz bands. Finally, there was a consistent effect of KB220Z on frontal regions when compared with placebo. The p-values for group 1 versus group 2 for a between-group analysis of week 1 and week 2, whereby group comparisons utilizing t-tests were performed. The FFT power ratio independent t-test results were significant at the 0.03 level in both analyses, in spite of a small sample size. After extensive analysis, it was found that there was an increase in amplitude of all frequencies across all 19 channels recorded. KB220 amino acid complex regulated the dysregulated electrical activity sites over the posterior cingulate gyrus, which links directly to cravings. A closer examination of the alpha and beta properties revealed a generalized switch in asymmetry across all sites and most pronounced in areas commonly associated with impulsivity, anxiety, compulsion, and cravings. Although the exact mechanism of action remains elusive, preliminary fMRI data suggests that KB220Z significantly activates dopaminergic pathways. Moreover, the coupling of gene testing along with a safe, non-addicting neuroadaptogen amino acid therapy that upregulates instead of downregulates dopaminergic receptors, preferably the D2 subtype, could soon play a significant role in the recovery process of people suffering from the acute and painful effects of RDS. For the text version of this report, please visit postgradmed.com and also visit rdsyndrome.com for a complete overview of Dr. Blum's natural solution to addiction. For addiction information, please visit www.holisticdrugrehab.com.